ஏ ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் எஸ்ஏ பிஎஸ்டி அண்ட் அபேப் லீக் சப்போர்ட் ஸோ டுடே வில் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஒன் மோர் எஸ்ஏ பிஎஸ்டி என்ஹான்ஸ்மெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் டைம் இட் இஸ் ரெலவெண்ட் டு த இன்வாய்ஸ் ஸ்பிளிட் ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் லெட்ஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் இஸ் இன்வாய்ஸ் ஸ்பிளிட் அண்ட் இன் விச் சுச்சுவேஷன்ஸ் இன்வாய்ஸ் ஸ்பிளிட் வில் அக்கர் so invoice split is nothing but splitting the invoices to multiple like for example we are trying to create an invoice for one order or one delivery then uh, due to some different header values or partner values then invoice will be split, splitted into multiple depends on the data only so basically here it is splitting the invoices more than one Now let's understand in which scenarios split will happen. So invoice split will happen in case of below situations. Okay, the first one is that there might be some changes has been carried out in the copy controls. and the second is that the header partner data might be having different values and the third one is that different value system might be identified in the invoice header data vbrk level different values in invoice header data and the last but not the least is that changes written in data transfer routine on the copy control so there might be some custom logic written in that uh, copy control data transfer routine to behave to split the invoices okay the first thing is that there may be some changes written in the copy controls the second is that different partner data identified in the invoice header level and different field values in the invoice header data and there might be some code or custom logic added in the data transfer routine of the copy controls so in these situations only the split will happen now let's understand in which scenarios split won't happen even though there is in uh, different values in the header level still split won't happen split won't happen in case of below value changes the first one is that created on er er dat so this is for created on field and uh, sorry er er dat second one is that er nam er nam and this is for created by and next one is that ae dat this is to this field referring to changed on so you can identify this field in vbrk table level okay and uh, the next one is that vbeln invoice number field next is net value netwr net value the next one is that knumb is a pricing document condition field pricing document condition field and the next one is erzdt is a time field next one is that belnr b e l n r this is the document number
this one rf bsk this is a posting status this one we can identify in vbrk table level posting status and uh, the next one is that sfakn and uh, this is for cancelled billing document number so this field will hold the cancelled billing document number you, may, you can explore these fields in the vbrk table and the uh, next one is mwbsk it's an account key field the last one is that fktyp this will be the billing category so let me log into the system i will uh, show you the field what i mean to say okay i'm going to sc 16n vbrk table okay the first field is that erdat created on you see created on second one is that er nam ernam created by next one is that changed on aedat and the next one is that vbeln it's is an inverse number field you see billing document or inverse number field vbeln and the next one is the net value netwr it's a net value field next one is knumb knumb is nothing but the pricing document condition number so this field is linked between vbrk and pricing table konv table next is er zet this is a time field here is the dt and the next one is that belner blnr it's a document number field it's relevant to accounting documents the next one is posting status field that is rf bsk yeah and uh, this one next one is sfakn is a cancelled billing document number so when we cancel any of the uh, invoice okay then for the s1 billing type we see that cancelled the parent invoice number which has been cancelled that number we can see here and the next one is mwbsk accounting okay it might be in vbrp table i will show you that and the last one is fk typ yeah you see billing category field okay let me go to vbrp mwbsk okay it might be in um, konv table let me see that mwbsk it's not here also fine so whenever system identifies different values on this field split won't happen apart from this field any other field has a different values then only split happens by the way how strong how i am strongly saying that split won't happen based on this field where is the control in the code level i will show you that so let me go to sc 38 and uh, the include is mv68 top okay, let me note down the include mv68 top if i open this um, include there is a structure called okay you see here you see the structure in the line number 276 you see the structure is a u s n a h m e underscore tab and some field has been defined here vbln netware k n u m v whatever i discussed now this field has been declared here right so whatever declared here for this field system won't do any split in my split won't happen on this field value changes this will be exempted from the invoice split concept suppose if i want to do the split for any other field apart from this list then i can simply add the field here but the problem here is that if i add like this then the change will be applicable to the entire system all the customers all the sales area every billing type will be impacted 
so i don't want to do like that and even sap also won't recommend it to do like that okay so don't add any field here unless until it's a global change the change applicable to entire system if there is not a global change if it's specific to any customer sales area or billing type wise means we shouldn't add here like this right so based on this field only i am strongly saying that sap won't do the split for this specified field here okay okay so now the now the requirement from business here is that business saying that they want to split the invoices based on order number suppose i am creating an invoice for two orders every data is same here customer number bill header data field values everything is change here right so if, if everything is change here system won't split system will combine those two orders to one invoice correct to avoid the split so business saying that even though every value is change in both the orders still i am expecting to create one invoice for one order so it should be splitted no single invoice they need a multiple invoices order number wise one order means one invoice ten orders means ten invoices like this currently it's combining together because all the data are same in the header level partner level everything is same that's why split is not happening currently so we need to split the invoices based on order number okay how can we achieve this okay to achieve this before that we should understand one field in vbrk table let me go to assistinian vbrk table in vbrk table there is one field called jukri j u k r i please note down this field jukri j u k r i so this is a combination criteria so in this field this is specifically designed by sap to use in case of a invoice split concept so we are going to use this field only jukri field and updating the invoice i mean splitting the invoice based on this field only how can we achieve this simple we know that right so every order invoice will be created through copy controls configuration only if any references there means definitely the data will be passed from the source to target transactions so here the flow is order delivery invoice okay then the copy control t code is vtfl in vtfl transaction code let me look for billing type is f2 delivery type is lf so for this combination i am going to apply the split give this delivery type and billing type click okay and select this one click on item now my item category is tan standard item category tan tan click this one and double click on tan now so here you see the data transfer routine that is data vbrk vbrk routine you see here currently it's assigned 007 okay let me open this in split i mean the routine 007 okay and if you see here by default sap returns some code to split the invoices based on module 001 right then uh, which wg distribution channel division spot and abt nr and empst so what sap is doing here they are uh, con they are concatenating every field value then updating that field to zukri you see in vbrk zukri they are updating jduk structure values this jduk structure contains all these combination 001 which wg spot abt nr and empst so whenever system identifies different values in vbk vbrk jukri field then split will happen right so in addition to this or what we can do we can simply develop a new custom routine or we need to write one implicit announcement here at the end of this uh, form then update vbak vbeln remember this in routine we have vba structure is available order structure is available this means all the order data will be we can get here order number 
payment terms input terms every order data will be stored in the vbak structure only right so vbak holding order number also so the logic is very very simple what logic here so logic to fulfill the requirement develop a new routine or add implicit enhancement in the existing routine the logic is vbrk jukri equal to vbak vbln simple so if the if we are trying to create the invoice for multiple orders then this routine will be called multiple times right then every time we are updating one order number to this jukri field so whenever system identifies different uh, zukri value the first order compared to second order then there is a different right then system will try to split to the invoices once the invoice has been saved and if you take those invoice numbers for example two orders are there so two invoices will be created take those two invoice numbers and go to vbrk table and pass this invoice number and you can verify the jukri field the jukri field you see order numbers there two different order numbers are there for the two invoices that means split happened because of that different order number so in case of invoice split this uh, we should do we should do the changes like this only it's very very simple to develop the invoice split functionality and uh, we might get different uh, requirements to split the invoices in different situations like uh, different port groups different ship to party customer different bill to party and uh, anyways different bill to party means uh, as per standard behavior different other partner means it will be split automatically happens right apart from this we can include any other combination split the invoices based on sales area or distribution channel wise split the invoices like this we can do the and fulfill the customer requirement it's very 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 easy to develop the invoice split functionality okay friends hope this video will be very helpful to you we'll meet in the next video bye for now thank you